How's it going everybody? This is Kinky and welcome to another Battle for Azeroth Alpha video. Today we're going to be talking about one of the new dungeons called Freehold. So let's just jump right into this and start talking about the dungeon. It's a, uh, so this dungeon is a pirate themed dungeon. Everything and the entire thing is all just relating to pirates. It's not like Maw of Souls in Legion. It is very, it, well it's not very different in the fact that that's kind of like an undead pirate type situation going on there. Uh, but this is more of an open world, like kind of what you would see at a port where a whole bunch of pirates would be. Kind of gives off a whole outlaw roguish type feel, which is kind of funny because when I played through it, one of the times was with an outlaw rogue. So the dungeon itself is in an open world style, like you can mount throughout the entirety of the zone or at least I think you can. Uh, there was a bunch of places that were really bugged for me. And for everybody in my group for that matter, we were all talking about it in chat, but it's just buggy there. We were stuck in combat for most of the dungeon. Uh, and it really sucks. Cause like I said, I was going through this on my rogue, so I couldn't stealth to get those ambushes in and stuff like that. But I mean, I could do it every two minutes with vanish, but I, hey, it is what it is. There was another part of the instance that was bugged too. Uh, there's a, a quest in Suramar where you have to chase the the cats back to their owners, uh, but there's something similar to that. It's not nearly as random as it is for that quest, but something similar to that where you get near something and it moves. There's something that you had to do for that, and it just bugged out on the map where it was constantly saying you still needed to do something, but you didn't actually need to do it, or at least that's what I'm thinking. Um, because we did get an interaction with an NPC after it got to what we believed was its last spot. So that, that was also bugged, but I don't, I think it was just a visual on our maps that was bugged and not so much the actual mechanic itself. The mobs in this dungeon are very tightly packed. So I can tell you right now that when Battle for Azeroth is launched in Heroic, there's going to need to be CC in this dungeon because there were multiple times when we accidentally pulled three to four groups and it nearly wiped us. The tank and the healer getting very low on HP. We never really had to stop for the healer, but there were a couple times when I thought, oh, well, here's a wipe because we just pulled four groups, but somehow we managed to get through it. I did notice a couple times that our, we did have a paladin, healer, and tank, and I did notice that Lay on Hands was going out pretty frequently so if blizzard moves forward with the same fixes as they have right now in the mythic plus system for legion because i know they are bringing that back it's just to an extent of how the fixes will be changed or if not how, how any of that's going to happen i could see the combination teaming and bolstering being really really bad in this dungeon if you're not sure what i'm talking about the affixes are the random buffs that mobs get in dungeons when you're on Mythic Plus above, I believe it's four and up, and then every at four you get one affix, and then every three levels or something like that you get another one. Teaming adds non-boss enemies throughout the entire dungeon, and bolstering is a buff. When non-boss enemies die, it does a rallying cry type thing where it increases the health and damage by 20% of everything around it. So this dungeon had four bosses. The first boss was extremely boring. I didn't even notice if there were any mechanics. It it just felt like a mob that had a stupid amount of health. That was pretty much it. The second boss was a little bit more interesting, but it was still really only there were I guess you could argue that there were two mechanics, but they kind of played off of each other and you could you could easily heal through it. And that might just be because it's an, it was a normal dungeon. I'm not 100% sure, but it really was not that challenging at all. The third boss was kind of a, a gimmicky fight. It was a gauntlet type fight rather than just one boss. Uh, I could see it getting more interesting as you go into harder difficulties. Maybe Blizzard will say, well, hey, uh, if you're running it on Mythic, we're going to add this extra boss and stuff like that. But who knows how they're actually going to set that up. It could be fun. The last boss had two mechanics, again, but these ones actually made you feel like you were actually fighting a boss because they, they played off of each other very well and they were very punishing if you didn't get them right. Still, it wasn't extremely challenging, it was just more of, hey, you need to pay attention for this otherwise you can kill yourself or you could kill a teammate. We ended up having two people die in the fight and we still were able to clear it, so it's not an insanely hard fight. 
but I could see where if people don't know what they're doing and they and they don't position well, that positioning could be challenging, especially when it gets to higher difficulties and the bosses have more health and then they do the phases more more times. So yeah, that wraps up about the dungeon freehold. It wasn't my favorite dungeon. I haven't done all of the new dungeons yet. Uh, this is my first pass at any of them, so I'm not sure where this one will end up ranking, but right now, I'd probably, if I had to rank it from a 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I'd probably give it a 7. I, I th And I don't know if that's just because of the bugs that were with in there. I mean, it, it just felt like a, here's a dungeon, go and do it. It didn't feel very engaging for the most part. But we'll see where it, where it lands on the list of everything once I get through all the other dungeons. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more Battle for Azeroth Alpha videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We will be dropping as many of those as we can, as we can get to them. We also have awesome Overwatch League coverage and Classic WoW coverage over on our channel, so make sure you check all that stuff out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, it's Ratted here. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. We put out multiple new videos each week and we appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching everyone and cheers.